11 meeting of the town council to order. I'd ask the clerk to take the roll. Council Chair Sherman? Here. Council Guvenali? Here. Council Jordan? Here. Council Lennon? Here. Council Sullivan? Here. Council Swift Payada? Here. And Council Walsh? Here. Uh, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, town Council reports and correspondence. Uh, Jessica. Uh, yes, we have a vacancy on the uh, Th Thomas Memorial Library uh, Board of Trustees. So I would encourage anyone interested to apply online. And the deadline is April 20th. So we hope to hear from citizens who would like to become involved. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Anybody else? OK, uh, this is the first opportunity this evening for citizens to discuss items that are not on tonight's agenda. If anybody would like to discuss an issue not on the agenda, please come forward, state your name, and you have three minutes. OK, seeing none, uh, town manager's report. I'll pass this evening. Thank you. Wow, moving right along. Uh, we have uh, minutes from our meetings held on March 14th and March 21st of 2011. Do I have a motion? Move to accept. Both. Second both. Okay. We've had a motion that's been seconded to accept both sets of minutes. Mm -hmm. Any comments or questions? All those in favor of the motion. <coughs> Thank you. Um, Sarah, I'm going to turn to you in a minute uh, uh, as finance chair, but at, at least according to the agenda, we have the first opportunity for the public to comment on the uh, fiscal year 2012 budget. Would you like to give an introduction first, or, or what does the council think? We, should we take comments first? Any? I'm happy introduction. to give an introduction. introduction. That okay, answer. that might help. Okay, I apologize for reading it. I wanted to make sure I got it all in. I'd like to note a few trends and observations in setting forth this budget for our citizens to review. The municipal budget totals $8,916,379 for fiscal year 2012. That is 396,692,000 or 4.4% increase over last year. 75% is for added maintenance of buildings, roads, and equipment, and 25% for employees, which includes a 2% salary increase for non-union town employees. The town manager has aptly called this budget taking care of assets, and it does, investing modestly in buildings, road maintenance, drainage, and a bite into the sizable infrastructure needs at Fort Williams Park. I applaud his efforts as well as department heads, town staff, and members of all of our boards and commissions in shaping a budget that is simultaneously frugal and forward-thinking in preserving our town's assets, thus avoiding inevitable disrepair, which costs far, far more down the road. Of note, there seems to be no appetite in town for a mo movement toward fee for use. Proposal for parking fees at the fort, paper throw at the transfer station, or any reduction in hours or services have all been met with a resounding no from the citizenry. As such, we find ourselves facing a modest tax increase to maintain the current upkeep and services we currently offer. To be specific, the proposed 2012 municipal tax is $3 more than the FY209 for a home valued at $300,000. Turning to the school side of the ledger, the school board has set forth for our review a budget of $21,124,690 for fiscal year 2012. That is $447,719, or 2.2 percent increase over last year. This constitutes a maintenance budget, little added or taken away, save small adjustments as recommended by the school principals and the leadership team. Federal and state funds fell off sharply this year, thanks to prudent planning and a unified effort from everyone involved in school financing. We will get through this first cliff year relatively unscathed. Gratitude goes to Dr. Murphy, the school board, the leadership team, and especially the entire faculty and staff for agreeing to a conservative salary agreement, making this very modest budget possible. Our district's efficiency and high achievement has not escaped public notice. 
John Podesta's Center for American Progress 2011 study ranked Cape Elizabeth the highest achieving district in the state with below average costs and a number one rank for return on investment scores. In summary, all budgets taken together and adjusted for revenues require a 1.9% 1, 1 tax increase overall or $85, ad 85 additional dollars for the medium home, own home owner. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sarah. And uh, for those of you who've looked at the agenda, later this evening the council will be voting to set the budget for a public hearing on April 25th. But in keeping with our communications policy, we wanted to afford members of the public the opportunity tonight to offer comments on the budget. So if, any, if anybody at this point would like to approach the lectern, you're certainly welcome to offer comments on the proposed budgets. Hi, Jan Fishbein, Hunts Point Road. Um, just wanted to congratulate you on both the municipal and the school budget. I think if you read uh, the Portland Press Herald, you see articles in the paper almost every day uh, talking about major challenges in other communities in Cumberland County, uh, major tax increases being considered, and or major cuts to services. And the fact that you've been able to come up with a budget is uh, you know, a good uh, testament to great planning in the past years, uh, being careful about setting things aside, uh, supported very much by our one town concept, which uh, creates great efficiency, and obviously also is a tribute to the great work of Dr. Murphy, and thanks to uh, the teachers as well, and the faculty for agreeing to a very reasonable uh, contract. So congratulations, this looks like a great outcome, and I hope uh, the community supports you. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Would anybody else like to speak? And, and if there are others, if you'd be willing to line up so we could uh, uh, keep things moving. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jana Zimmerman at 81 Oakhurst Road, Cape Elizabeth. And I have two kids, one in first grade and one in um, eighth grade. And I wanted to just um, support the school budget. Hope that you'll do the same. I think that this process, this is one of the first years in which I've lived here in nine years that the process has been um, free of rancor and more of a problem-solving approach, a solution-based rather than divisive in our community, which felt really good. And, um, and I think it shows, um, like Dr. Fishbun was saying, um, everybody coming together and trying to figure out what's going to work. We also have a superintendent who I wish would consider staying on, that came up with one budget. And it was a fact, you know, like just a data-based budget. Here's where the schools are. Here's where we need to be. How do we get there? And I really appreciated that because it wasn't misleading. It didn't make you think that there were three alternatives or five alternatives or something. There's one. So I would appreciate your support on that school budget. Thank you. Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak? All right, I'll close the uh, public commentary portion of uh, tonight's discussion on the budget. Uh, Sarah, do we have a motion? Um, <clears throat> item 62 2011. Uh, I move that we send the proposed budget as set forth in our packet and described in my introduction to the town council um, for a public hearing to be scheduled on Monday, April 25th, 2011 at 7.30 p.m. in the Cape Elizabeth Town Hall on the proposed general fund. Seconded. Okay. The motion's been made and seconded. Any questions or discussion? Anne. I, I just had a question. I just wanted to make sure it's the, the numbers that we're looking at here on the front page of our packet, correct? For, for anybody who wanted to look online, you know, to see what all the numbers were. That's all. Uh, yes, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Okay, all those in favor of the motion? Yeah, the motion carries. Thank you. Item 63-2011 uh, relates to the uh, special funds 
uh, budget numbers. Sarah, would you like to make a motion? Uh, yep, I move that we set for a public hearing the special fund budget as set forth in our packet on, online um, for a public hearing to be scheduled Monday, April 25th uh, at 7.30 p.m. in the town hall for uh, citizen comment and uh, council vote. Seconded. Okay, the motion's been made and seconded. Any questions or comments? Discussion? Just quick, yes, Frank. Both for this budget as well as the preceding one we voted on, on the 25th, the town council is going to vote to approve or disapprove, correct? So unlike our procedures where we try to have a vote following the, following the uh, public comment, because of the schedule this year, it's just not possible. I think it's worth noting that. No, and I appreciate that, and that is why we uh, invited uh, public comment tonight. Um, but certainly if people want to provide input, they can do, certainly do so by email prior to April 25th. Right. Sarah. I'd just like to remind everyone that the referendum vote is on May 10th um, in the high school gym from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m.? 7 to 8. 7. 7 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., so don't forget to vote. And, and if I could add to that, just to clarify, that's just for the school budget, but then there will also be um, the vote for Larry Bliss's senatorial seat on the same day, just so people know. Yes, Jim. Yeah, just a, a point. Um, public input has been asked for throughout the creation of these budgets as well. So mm -hmm. I think it's important to note that while we had public comment this evening, prior to these numbers getting to us in their final form in both the, <coughs> the school board level but also at the council level we've had opportunities for the public to weigh in so just want to clear that up make sure that there wasn't some feeling that this was the first time <laughs> it wasn't clear. Right. no that's a very good point thanks jim <clears throat> any other comments Okay, we have a motion then on item 63-2011, and it's been seconded. All those in favor of the motion? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Item 64-2011 uh, relates to roosters. Uh, the town council last year referred to the planning board a request from a citizen to consider whether roosters should be banned or otherwise regulated in residential areas. The Planning Board has provided a report and has recommended that the issue not be dealt with in the zoning ordinance, but instead be dealt with in the noise ordinance. Uh, I do see that we have Jim Hubner here from the Planning Board. Uh, it might be helpful for the Council, if, if you're willing, to provide us just with a brief sure. explanation as to how we got to this point. Yes. Just a point. This is a. This again is another example of the trial that we're using with the planning board, and having more communication between the different boards relative to work that is underway. And before Jim Hubner begins, Jim Walsh, is the lectern pointed that way as part of our new communications policy too? Because <laughs> uh, it seems like. No, it just it's. No, I, maybe the speaker could, but don't <laughs> crack your egg. Um, You've got to be careful. It's yeah. not, not hard-boiled. I, I thought of this at the last minute. All right. Mr. Hubner. <laughs> Keep my hands off there. Um, I did want to bring this and add a little levity to the situation of which actually the planning board took very seriously. Um, the, we started debating this not, uh, several months ago, and as you said, it started with a request from a citizen and that particular incident was actually uh, solved by the citizen and the neighbor with, uh, and there's been no problem since that, but it had, its, it had some inertia and then kept on going. We had uh, four workshops. We had two public hearings. Uh, at the first public hearing, there was enough debate that we went back and said, well, let's think this thing again. Um, that we, we debated long and hard on this, whether we had some people wanted it in the zoning ordinance to take care of it that way, and some, some people did not. Uh, and in the end, the last planning board public meeting, uh, as it says here, we uh, defeated, or I, I should say the, the, the part of the amendment to make it 
uh, limit the lot size and make it part of the zoning ordinance was turned down, but the uh, another